Hello! In my previous video I showed you how I actually flashed the bootloader into these breakout boards here which I prepared for my students uh, in, in the course microcontroller programming and uh, now it's time to test that everything is okay which means that I want to connect these now to USB and see that the bootloader actually works and that I can flash new software into the microcontroller and test that all the pins are working and then I will flash another software into it which is actually the the starting software then for the students. So in order to do this I again have my small adapter board here and it allows me to connect the breakout boards like this and now I connect it to uh, USB, but before I do that, I will show you actually how my Windows looks like now. So I have here the the task man, the device manager, where I will watch whether a new use, uh, USB serial port shows up, which would be the bootloader. And then I have two windows open in Avia Dudes with two different programs. This is just to make it quicker, so that I don't have to swap the file here all the time. And uh, so I connect it to the USB and now actually you see that uh, here it appears a new COM port, COM9 in this case on my computer and on the green board we have two blue LEDs showing that we have supply voltage. This is a USB supply voltage while this one down here is actually the supply voltage for the chip itself. We see also that the red light is uh, flashing here and this is actually the indication that the bootloader is active and is waiting for a connection. So now I can actually go and uh, go to AVR do this to the first one here. I have COM9 selected and I have the AVR 109 app note bootloader selected as the programmer and I will click on program and now we should in a second see that everything is okay yes and now we see that actually the leds around the border here on the green board are blinking uh, so the test code goes and cycles through every single io pin which there is um, i colored the different ports in different led colors so the yellow ones is port b um, down here green we have port f over here in white we have two pins from port C and then we have eight pins from port D and then we have the red one up here which is PE6. So everything works fine and uh, then I actually want to flash the default code here which is just uh, essentially it's an empty code doesn't do much it blinks the LED up here on the board so that there will be no conflicts when the students attach these to their own circuits for the very first time. In order to get into the bootloader again I have to double click the reset button here and now we are in the flashing LED mode. We have COM9 back and we can program the new or the next code and this one is now the new code. It actually blinks the LED. It's Morse code for OK. Everything is OK and uh, that's it. This is just a little close up view of the two programs which I'm running to test the chip. So this one is the testing of all the GPIO pins where we have red here port B, then we have port C, port, uh, sorry, port B, port F, port C on this side and then port D and last port E with a single LED up here. And the other code for that I do a double click on the reset button here. Now we are in the bootloader mode and now I can program the other code. And it will just indicate its presence by actually flashing the PE6 LED up here. And uh, that's how I will prepare all the chips for my students.